Good afternoon everybody! This is Dane. Welcome back to my channel, Filipino Nurse Retires Home. I'm in the mood of doing some videos again, so um, help me out with this, okay? Please subscribe if you have not done that yet. Uh, if you find it interesting, could you please share, okay? You will never know. You can help other people, especially the OFWs and foreigners who are interested to go back to the Philippines. There are some interesting topics that they might be able to learn, okay? Um, today's topic, it's going to be if you are interested in doing a small business as, as, as a, an entrepreneur, okay, in the Philippines. There's a lot of stuff that, that you really have to consider. Uh, before I get too far, by the way, I really thank everybody who's involved in this channel, all my subscribers, and um, I really thank everybody. My numbers are, are much better now. But as I have said, I'm not going to dwell on the numbers. It's the type of people I'm dealing with, okay? Could you please do a little bit of uh, comments, okay? Um, give me your inputs. And I might be able to get ideas what I'm going to do next for my topic. All right, back to my topic is owning a small business in the Philippines. There are a lot of stuff that you really have to consider to be a successful one. But there's always a lot of stuff also that you have to know that can make that business go down like it's going to kill you. It's probably going to make you crazy because you actually own the money. You really work hard for it, especially when you work abroad and you go back to the Philippines. Okay, so those things that you have to consider, okay, in starting a business, sometimes you would like to do it on your own, right? You like it you like it on your own but you cannot just rely on your own knowledge you have to depend on other people also who has a little bit of vision a lot of opinions that they can share to make that business grow okay so sometimes you have to employ people now there's a lot of stuff that you really have to to learn okay first main the main thing that I would have to advise you or really suggest that you have to know the business carefully okay during conversation sometimes when you try to explore what kind of niche you're gonna get into you will meet a lot of people family members who will interject their ideas and other other um, uh, people around you like not even family, you don't even know people, okay? You're just trying to recruit people and get ideas from the public, you know? So, now, so during the conversation, gosh, your dreams are coming out, you know? All those things that you can, you can already vision that your business is gonna be this and it's gonna be a very good, cash flow here positive cash flow and it's gonna help help you financially and all that energy sometimes can be very dangerous all right because it can make you impulsive it can make you employ your own family members at the same times people that pretend to know that they know the business itself with in fact, they're just manipulating you, okay? When you employ them, then you're gonna get it, okay? You're gonna get it. Now, you, you start the business. You don't even know anything about the business. Then later on, you're gonna find out, holy cow, what's in the world? You're gonna find a lot of irregularities there, okay? Irregularities, my God, what happened here? I don't have, why? Well, I might have a little money here, you know, but I'm not getting enough. What happened to the money? What happened to the collection? What happened to, to the processing? Holy moly, and all those legalities you're thinking about is there. It's on your plate. And then later on, you're going to find out it will almost eat you alive, okay? It will kill you sometimes, but try to overcome that, okay? Now, what you need to do to avoid that you really have to screen people because you might be able to employ people that are narcissistic people liars 
the one who manipulates people, the people that can squeeze you for your last dollar because they want it all. They even are jealous on you that they're going to take over the business and squeeze you and make your business go down. Okay, and they're going to be the one to basically own the business that you hard, work hard okay, for. And please, if you can help it, try to do these things that I need for you to know, okay? All right? I'm not saying this because I'm lying, okay? I'm saying this because I know. I know because I know, okay? Number one. The process, you have to know the process yourself. Don't enter into the business without knowing the process of the business yourself. You have to know the, how to apply for the business permit, what are the fees that are involved, what are the government offices that you have to, to um, uh, involve in the business, okay? in processing papers, you have to know those kind of fees that you are supposed to give them, okay? Those can easily be manipulated, like the Padula system, battering up people to do their job. You have to know those stuff, okay? You just cannot, do not rely on people that work for you because they can kill you. I'll tell you that right now. You will need to know how much are the expenses. You have to know your own Excel. The Excel is very easy to do. Just know how to do the formula. It takes a little while, but you're going to need to know that. You have to know the intakes and the outputs of your money. You have to give them timeline, what they need to do in a certain specific time. Like on that period, you should know this mission of yours has to be accomplished. Okay? Make a timeline. Do not Try to uh, rely on them, what they say from their mouth, because they can lie to you. They can sell an ice to an Eskimo. You, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Um, you can, those are liars, okay? They can kill you. Um, so you really have to know the people that you are employing, okay? Do not just employ anybody because they they pretend to know the business, okay? Please do not do that. You yourself has to really know that, okay? <laughs> because when you know that they're screwing you up, you are almost like a hostage on your own business. You cannot just get rid of them because you depend so much on their knowledge, all right? So you cannot just get them out, although you already know that, that they, are, they are screwing up your system, your money. They're already screwing you up for your money, okay? They're stealing from you. They're using the company and uh, provide for them and then work for somebody else. And then you, you, you give them allowance. So you will know that. And you're gonna be in deep trouble and it's gonna make you file bankruptcy if you're not careful, okay? And that's your hard-earned money. So don't be stupid, okay? Um, I, I feel sorry for people who has experienced that, okay? And I heard, I heard a lot of people who has gone through that. I, I will not say to you that do not trust people, but please screen those people before you enter into that kind of business, okay? It might be just a welding shop. It must, might be just a repair shop. It might be a real estate and so on and so forth, small business, but those are the hard-earned money that you had had for 35 years of working abroad and you go home and you're gonna be broke. Please, avoid doing that, okay? Don't be, you have to be a micromanager in every kind of business you're gonna go get into. You might be a bossy boss, but you know what? You're gonna be success, successful if you're on top of them all the time. You have to assign them where they're going and look at that fine prints all the time. Where are the monies, even a single cent, okay? So, and you request, require for a receipt every time and let them sign every time. Sign the paycheck and so on and so forth. 
and um, otherwise I would like to tell you this because a lot of people got burnt okay and do not be a victim okay so we the Philippines unfortunately we're well known for corruption in the offices of the government and it's really true and everybody knows about that but it's not only the government officials though it trickles down to the lowest part of the society sometimes unfortunately parents are tolerating children to lie uh, to manipulate system to be able to survive but that's not an excuse though okay my parents i'm so glad taught me well honestly it's the integrity the dignity for uh, for I'm sorry the dignity that supersedes everything okay the money comes later all right in living here on earth it is your integrity as a human being that you have to uh, maintain okay otherwise that's just a thought all right but that has to be taught during the formative years of a child okay self-respect respect for others property and follow rules and regulation in the society those are the things and the last but not the least fear of god and that's the most important thing all right thank you guys and have a safe day bye bye